All right, hello everybody from Northwest Trek. Just outside of Rainier National Park, they've got this um, basically a zoo exhibit in right. a way. I mean, it's a wildlife park. Yeah, wildlife park. Um, like a really awesome zoo through an old growth forest, which is pretty awesome. They got your bears, grizzlies, black bears, moose, cougar, cougar, wolverines, eagles. Oh, yeah, eagles are beautiful. Owls. Owls. Um, so if you're coming to uh, Rainier, highly recommend a stop here. Uh, do you know what town it's out it's of? It's in Eatonville. Eatonville, which is, we're heading to the Nisqually Lodge, which is on what, the in the west? South, 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 like southwest, southwest side? side of Mount Rainier. Yeah, so Rainier's a huge park, but if you are on this side, yeah. um, highly recommend stopping through. It's 25 bucks a person, uh, well worth it, and of course all that money goes to the habitats and helping all the animals. And It's absolutely beautiful in here though. Right, and this is a walking tour, so you have trails all throughout. Um, there's also for an additional fee. We didn't. We don't know. I didn't look into it to see how much. Yeah, but either. for an additional fee, there's a driving tour as well, where um, you follow one of their cars and it takes you out um, into pastures and stuff where they have herds, herds of animals. So yeah. other other animals that you don't see, other wildlife that's not here um, within the walking area, you can see. Yeah, it's a good point. So we may look into that, and if not, we'll at least let you know what the price is of it. Uh, but we we still have a few hours left here, and we figured uh, today was our first day coming into uh, na or to the park, and so we figured we afternoon time. So what better way to uh, spend some time than coming here to this place and getting to see all the animals that you hope to see in the national park? You don't have to see them; you have to search for them. So anyway, pretty neat little spot. So, unfortunately, with COVID, there's a, a bunch of um, options that aren't available right now. Um, like, they have an elk bugling tour. That would have been awesome to go out and see the elk. They got a photo um, tour. <clears throat> yeah, there's all kinds of things that they show cr Dang. crossed off on the list. Um, but the walking tour here, it's actually three miles of paved paths. Um, they also have, it says, a cabin where you can get an up-close view of the wolves. Uh, let's see, the tram tour. It says you scout for it. So that's the, I think, the, is that the car? Uh, maybe the Jeep. Oh, no, it's a tram tour that's closed. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So there's a, the tram tour is closed. It says you can scout for moose, elk, bison, and more on 435 acres of free roaming area. So that's where the, that's where the auto thing goes then. Okay. That makes sense. And then how many, what did you say about the number of animals? So they say this, is, this park is 725 acres and home to more than 200 animals native to the Pacific Northwest. So... You can pretty much see everything here. Yeah, and it's just walking through here. Even if you didn't, you're going to see animals. But this isn't like walking through a zoo. I mean, you're, this is like walking through a forest that just happens to have animals in it. It's absolutely beautiful. So the tram, the tram tour is closed because of COVID. Um, so that's why there's an X on it. <laughs> So our time at Northwest Trek has come to an end. What do you think? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, for yeah. something to be unexpected, we just were driving and and saw the sign and said, "Let's go check it out." Uh, man, it was it's so cool. So You'd cool. be so close to some of these animals, like I these mean, bald eagles right yeah. behind me here. Uh, but yeah, just everything: bald eagles, um, wild, um, cats, you know, cougars, bobcats, um, lynx, lynx, bears, grizzlies, black wolves. bears, wolves. All oh, the wolves. That was probably the highlight. The grizzlies and the wolf were the highlight. Um, I got so many great shots. Yeah. We stayed a lot longer than most probably would because we um, were doing a lot of photography here, uh, the wildlife. But um, when it, everything's open, there's so much to do. They got tram rides and they've got um, all the tours. Tours you can go on. A, they have a jeep tour where you can get on a, in a jeep with multiple people and, right. and go around. They have photography tours. Mm -hmm. um, so highly recommend if you in 25 bucks a person, unbelievably right. good value. Oh. We did look into um, if you want to do the auto, the driving tour that's going on right now. Um, it was ninety dollars per vehicle. Um, yeah, per covers vehicle. the whole covers everybody in the vehicle and includes your entry into the, all the walking area. 
So I wonder if you had because it was twenty five bucks a person for us. Uh huh. I wonder if you had a family, if it would still be ninety dollars. It's would it. Pay for... it's, it's because it's however many people can fit in your car, so it's right. you know, probably usually they would assume three or four people. But sure. if you have a big vehicle, well, then yeah. I guess you all get in. Absolutely fantastic deal. Now we're hoping while we're here at uh, Rainier National Park that we'll get to see some wildlife in the open, but you're never going to see it here. And uh, like you do, uh, you're never going to see as many animals as you do here. Yeah. And the neat thing here is that these are all uh, re rehabilitated animals, right? So, right. Like they um, had one of the bald eagles. Um, she had actually been shot in the wing, um, so she can't fly. So they took her in here, um, and ha she has her own little area, and, mm -hmm. and they feed her down low and everything to, to take care of her because she, she can't survive out in the wild on her own. Yeah, so if you find a way to uh, stop by and support these guys, uh, please do. And uh, off to Rainier we go. Thank you.